Hey guys, I thought it was time for another design show and tell video since it's been quite a while since I last did one. Today I'm going to talk about a project that's quite a lot more recent than my previous show and tells have been, so I hope you enjoy it. Earlier this year I designed the branding and website for Xerocon, which is an accounting industry conference that's held by Xero each year in all different countries around the world. We entered the website into the NZ Designers Institute Best Awards, and to my surprise it won a silver, which is super exciting and a great honour I think. The whole conference was really fun to design for. We wanted something that was quite different from the Zero brand but still connected in a way. So we went with this blue, pink and slate theme with this XOXO texture running throughout. The website really needed to get across the scale of the event and show people what to expect there and basically let them know that it was going to be really beneficial for them to come along to it. I used this looping video background up the top so that when you load the page you're immediately seeing scenes from previous events and really getting an idea instantly of what it's like to go to this conference. And I think because it's a video and you're seeing people in it and they're all talking and having a good time that it really brings the page to life. And I think that the bright blocks of colour on the page help give it personality as well. Because the site needed to get across a lot of information, I needed to break it up onto separate pages and design a clear navigation system to get around so that no matter what information people were looking for it was really easy to find. One of my favourites of the sub pages is the speaker page where I've got a grid of all the people you can expect to see speaking at the conference and you can click on them to read their bio and learn a little bit more about them and also see when they're speaking. As you can see on these sub pages as well I carried on the blue and pink theme throughout so that the whole site would be really cohesive and connected. The main challenge I faced with designing this website was the sheer amount of information that it needed to hold. I needed to design a way to have all that information there and readable but also make it look not too overwhelming. That's why for example I designed the FAQ section with the questions down the left and the answers on the right so that if you had a question and you were looking for the answer you could just scan down the list of questions and then read across the line to see the answer. That's also why I designed the speakers page like I did with just the photo name and title on display and then you click to see more because otherwise it would just look like a whole lot of text and this way it's much easier to find the information you need. I think that with every project it's a typical designer thing to just look back on it and see all the things that you wish you'd done differently and that you'd like to change or that you wish you'd had more time for but all in all, I am really proud of this website. It was a really big job, I think it was about 7 pages in the end, and we are on a pretty tight time frame designing it as well, so I'm really happy with what we came out with in the end. Hope you enjoyed hearing about that project, and maybe it might have given you an insight into what I actually do for a living. I made a video, maybe it was a couple of months ago I think, about a day in my work life, so I'll link that below if you feel like checking that out and hearing a little bit more. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you'd like to hear about some more design projects I've worked on and I will see you next week. Bye!